Tea Time True Crime with Katie. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My day has been uh, kind of slow. Um, we weren't that busy and it's just like a weird rainy day. Tonight we have a case that is um, still pending, but I have to talk about this case because it's one of those cases that is so unbelievable that you don't even know what is fact or fiction. I have done um, several re you know, research into different articles. Um, articles say different things and then I saw something at the end that may be true, which would be like, what a twist at the end of the story. Um, but yeah, I am home now from work. My hair is down. I just made some um, hot tea. This is the Clementine Stress-Free with, of course, hun honey. Oh yeah, that is, yes. So without further ado, um, if you are watching, hello, hi, thank you so much for watching my podcast. You are awesome. Yes. And if you are listening, hello, you are awesome. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for listening. I have my favorite mug. You know, I have so many favorite mugs. Okay. Don't come for me. I just have a lot of mugs. This one, I love Robin Hood. And it is one of my favorite, favorite stories. And on the back of it, it has the lyrics, Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. You know? I love that little song. It's, it's good times. But what I'm not going to talk about now is not good times. No one died or, hmm, you be the judge, you guys. I am almost at a hundred subscribers. Holy moly, keep it coming. And before I know it, I'll be at a thousand. I'll be climbing the charts. You guys will be DMing me more. I mean, I love the DMs. I try to get to you guys as fast as possible. And it means the world to me. All right, so this story, like I said, no one literally died, but you guys be the judge, please. I actually heard this story. It's all over TikTok, social media. And in fact, the crime actually happened in November 2021. But then I found articles that said it happened in August 2021. But the most articles I found is November, you know, beginning of November. So this happened in Seattle, okay? And it is about a, you know, young couple, married, have kids, white picket fence, you know, like the whole nine yards. Now the story goes, cheaters, cheaters, beware, legit. My thing is, please don't cheat on anybody. If you're not happy, leave, please. And don't judge people from their past because I have been through a lot and I have done a lot. So yeah, kind of have words of wisdom here. It is not worth it to cheat on someone. And of course it is absolutely horrible to be cheated on. So now that we say that, you kind of know where the story is going. 33-year-old Lori Williams, okay, thought she had the perfect marriage. They lived in a very nice home. She was married to Yuri for quite a while. They had two beautiful children, I believe two cats, one dog, like, like I said, the white picket fence. Well, it was not out of the ordinary for either of them to surprise one another. So one day, Lori wants to surprise her husband at lunch. And her husband, Yuri, is a realtor. You know, he sells homes or, you know, uh, buys homes. Who knows, you know, a realtor. Very hard test, by the way, very hard test, okay? 
So this, of course, is, I feel like, anyone's worst nightmare, and I feel like it has gone, like, a step further. So, all right. So anyway, Lori wants to surprise her husband. She goes and, like, buys him a hoagie or makes him a hoagie, which that's already my language, okay? Hoagies. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite hoagie. I want to know. Okay. Let's get back to the story. And she brings him an IPA. Now, an IPA is a beer. Indian Pale Ale. You know, it's kind of like, I feel like those beer kind of sores kind of... It has a, it's like a little bitter, maybe sour. It, it just depends. I feel like it has more alcohol content than the average beer. Okay. The, the hipster drink. <laughs> what people say. But hey man, you like what you like. So she goes and surprise him. And before she does that, she calls Yuri's secretary. And she is like, hey, which homes is Yuri showing today? And the, you know, secretary tells her. So she goes to the back of one of the homes with a hoagie and an IPA and catches her husband doing someone else. Let's just, I mean, doing the dirty. I'm not talking about legs around each other, okay? Things flopping around. I'm talking about his face. Yeah, down under. Mmm, mmm, God, that had got to like, woo, rip your soul apart. I, I can't even like, I'm not, I'm not gonna imagine. We're just gonna. I got myself back together. Sorry about that. I just do not want to think about that. That is horrible. So you guys think like, oh my gosh, so what you do, like go in the backyard and rip her hair out and punch him out? No. She wanted revenge though. She was plotting, ladies and gentlemen, plotting. So she left with the IPA and hoagie and when Yuri fell asleep around 2 a.m., she grabbed their wedding album that was displayed by the front door, I believe the living room, you know, as soon as you walk in, you see the promises, the vows, you know, pretty much in book form. And it's like 10 pounds. Yeah, you might see where this is going. So while Yuri is asleep, he mostly sleeps naked and in the middle of the night, he throws, you know, like co covers off him. Which, like, um, same. Yeah. So, Yuri is sleeping, and Lori places the wedding album on top of Yuri's thighs. Then she grabs her husband's jewels, known as the scientific term testicles. Oh, yeah. Ooh. She grabs them very slowly, puts them between the album, and then snaps. Oh yeah, she shut that book so fast, so hard, that Yuri instantly, in a nanosecond, screaming, writhing in pain. And Lori doesn't want to see, I mean, believe it or not, she is human. She doesn't want to see him suffer. So she calls the ambulance and she tells him what she did. So the damage here, folks, is insane. She actually popped, I don't even know they pop, both testicles where sperm fluid was leaking out, I'm sure veins, I'm sure it was not a pretty sight at all. So she evidently basically castrated him because after the both testicles were raptured, like ruptured, ruptured, woo, ruptured, that means he no longer can receive an erection. Yeah, she basically stole his manhood. You know, she didn't Lorraine Bobbitt, but you know, if you don't know who Lorraine Bobbitt is, she actually chopped the shaft right off and threw it in a field. It's not funny, but it's like, when I say it out loud, I'm like, am I really listening to the words that are coming out of my mouth? So, She's arrested, of course, and the detective on this case is not happy at all. He's like, you should have not let your emotions, you know, run away with you. You know, you really, you know, you broke the law. And it, it is horrible because there's children involved. 
I mean, a woman scorned, right? So I've looked up this case and it does not say any court proceedings or I can't even see Yuri, like what he looks like. He may have changed his name, honestly, but this case did happen in 2021. It is 2023 and it is like all over TikTok. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's insane. I think people love it because it is the classic story of revenge and, you know, a woman scorned, but anyone can be scorned. Anybody can be cheated on and it could hurt really bad and it's heartbreaking. But I'm going to get to the twisted part right now. I almost don't even want to tell you guys. I told George about this and he was like, I was like gung-ho on the revenge aspect. But then I, when I told him about what I'm about to tell you, he's like, don't even tell them. He's like, I think you need to do more research. There's three articles that say what I'm about to say. The twist, y'all, it's, it's insane. So before I tell you, her mugshot was epic. She has this beautiful smile. She's a beautiful girl. She could have whoever she wants, like, legit. And her mug smile, excuse me, sorry about that. Her mugshot made me laugh so hard because she's smiling like one of those psycho smiles, like, oh, I did a bitch, that was me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, like, I did that. Yes, I did. So, yeah, it's um insane. Okay, guys, I will stop stalling. So the twist is this. The woman, the homeowner of the place, I was personally thinking, wow, he really wants that commission. Like, God dang. I know times are hard, but dude, okay. Try not to be funny, you know, but sometimes you got to be funny. So let me know down in the comments below already. Do you think she act rash? Do you think it was a normal human being reaction or what would you do? I want to know. Um, okay. Sorry. I am so stalling and there is lipstick all over my teeth. If you were listening, oh, that's hot. We're just going to enjoy that because it's not coming off. Okay. So the twist is this, Lori Williams ended up with the woman that she found her man cheating her on. Like the one that he was going down under, like down under spread eagle time. Mm hmm. Yes. Take out, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just the go and eat out. Yes. Um, yeah. When she saw that, you know, her and Yuri are not together, but articles say that her and Lori ended up together. Oh, boom, people. I just, what? Like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to judge, but like, I'm judging. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Girl, you could have whoever you want. I mean, yeah. My thing is this. If you, I mean, this is really rare. So if this is how you met the love of your life, that is awesome. Great for you. But a lot of the time, if you are cheating on someone and they leave them, you know, the other person for you, who you've been cheating on them with, nine times out of 10, they gonna cheat again. Okay. Again. But again, it's very rare, you know. So I'm just thinking like, Lori, what are you thinking? Like you destroyed the dude's testicles. He's basically dead. Like he can no longer receive an erection. Like that is, yeah. Just gonna have some tea right here. Yeah, so that was the insane story that I found. Oh, a public service announcement. If you are a pet owner, okay, I don't know 100% for dogs, but I'm sure it's not good either. If you have any eucalyptus plants, essential oils, 
or that cute little display that TikTok is showing us to put like lavender and eucalyptus leaves over the shower, it is magical, it is amazing, but it's very poisonous for your cats. And I had a mini heart attack. I took my Bowie to the vet, was there for hours. They gave him a Benadryl like shot and he's been doing so much better. But I think it's important to say, like, there's so many people that don't realize eucalyptus essential oils is literally poison for your loved one animals, okay? Um, I just know 100% for cats. Go Google it for dogs. I'm not sure about dogs, but yes, definitely for cats. Get those plants out of your house, out of your apartment, wherever they are, away from your animals, okay? And I found this case while you know in the waiting room and stuff and like waiting just just waiting and i was scrolling for cases to do my next podcast and i'm like wow a woman smashes man's testicles out of spite or something like that and i was like oh i'm gonna read on this and then i saw uh, several stories on it about tiktok so i mean i feel really sorry for the children in this situation because, I mean, I'm sure the wife has gone to jail. Like, who's watching them kids? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. You are amazing. Please stay safe. And I'll see you in the let. I cannot talk tonight, folks. I just cannot talk tonight. But um, yeah subscribe like follow and all that jazz i really appreciate it check out all my socials and i appreciate you more than you know have an amazing night and i'll see you later bye